Hi Virgo, it's L here to do your uh, April love spread. It's a quick little spread. I'll pull three cards and then we'll look at the cards under the deck. All right, let's go. So I'll save the announcements for the end, but thank you to all my Virgos who have requested reading. To all my Virgos who like, share, comment, subscribe. Hey guys, I want to know where everybody's from. So if you could just comment uh, where you're from, where you where you're viewing from, and I um I'm, I'm gonna do some traveling this spring and summer months, and I just wanna maybe I'll meet with some of my followers, do some personal readings in person. How about that? So comment where you're from. I'll let you know if I'll be that way soon, okay? All right, that one to flip over. That flipped over off camera for you. Three of swords, Virgo. All right, two of pentacles. When I was meditating, I said, what do I see for Virgo? All I kept hearing was stress, stress. Somebody's really stressed. King of swords, all right. Bottom of the deck, prince of pentacles or the knight of pentacles. All right, so Virgo, this is divorce, uh, caution in relationships, separation. Some of you are definitely contemplating it. This is contemplation in the mind. Um, this is in the physical. Now you're weighing up the decision to, um, you're weighing up two decisions. And they're already here. They're physically man manifested. Do I go here or do I go there? Or do I stay here or go there? Uh, with the Two of Pentacles and the Three of Swords. Consciously and mentally, you've already kind of like mentally gone through the heartbreak, the, the divorce, the separation. You know it needs to be final. And you might be taking on the energy of the King of Swords. The King of Swords cuts things out. Well, that's more so the Queen of Swords. The King of Swords already knows what needs to happen and probably has already made it happen especially mentally and started to organize their life and everything around them to the point where um making a break is clean and clear and it's truthful upright and um it's just for everyone involved that's all the king of swords is about you didn't hear me say nothing about emotion did you all right that's what i'm saying king of swords that's who he is and this could be your partner uh, Capricorn Aquarius Gemini Libra this is typically Libra or Aquarius could be a Gemini you're dealing with but this is typically uh, Aquarius uh, Libra you've got air here twice and then you've got your own energy here twice also you want to offer something solid and stable maybe to someone else or something else the sun is here saying that this is a go. It's positive. And also saying if you didn't feel, you felt like you didn't have all the clarity you needed because the moon is here, the sun and the moon, the, the light and the dark, the day and the night was done in secret, was revealed. It's going to be revealed to you. Prince of, Pen Prince of Wands, you can move and act fast. Maybe with a fire sign or maybe this is a fire sign who comes in and out and moves and acts fast. Queen of Cups, your intuition will be sharp dealing with this person. Or you could be dealing with the Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Or you could have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio in your chart. This is typically Cancer. Someone's moving away. Eight of Cups, mentally checking out. Physically moving. Um, not mentally. Emotionally checking out. Emotionally drained of a situation. Because they felt like they didn't have clarity with that moon there. But the moon and the sun is here saying you do have clarity. Make the decision to do whatever it is you need to do. Seven of Cups. Come out of the illusion. Don't give illusions and uh, disillusionment to anyone else. Um, gain emotional. So it goes from the eight to the seven. It's, it's definitely, um, you know, digressing or, or digressing. One of those, okay? Y'all get in the comments and let me know that I said it wrong, whatever. Um, seven of Cups. You're definitely emotionally confused about this seven of pentacles because you put so much work and time and effort in this and you wanted it to grow and be the the happy situation you could be dealing with a younger air sign gemini libra aquarius they rush in and give their truth 
in a certain situation about the relationship that used to be successful or it still is successful, but somebody's still hanging on to something or someone or another situation. This is your energy, Virgo. You need to let the burden go, whatever the burden may be. For some of you, it's an uh, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Um, you're going to have a new passionate start for self, by self. Nine of Pentacles, your energy. Or you're just really pretty much putting your energy into yourself because you're trying to manifest something here. Then you come right after the Virgo. Um, you're going within, thinking about what you did in the past, how you can manipulate this situation so you can get the desired outcome you're looking for. Uh, you're going to make a solid a solid and stable decision about something. Uh, the Princess of Pentacles. Or you, you're wanting to... The message of stability is elsewhere for you. I'm feeling like, like you feel like, um, yeah, stability is elsewhere. That's what I say. You get a two of pentacles here. You're dealing with two situations. You're juggling two situations. It's keeping you up at night with the nine of swords. You know that you need to make an active decision. The two of wands and move this way and stop remaining that way. Uh, justice here could be dealing with the Libra. If not, what what was wrong in the past will be righted, either for you or others involved. Seven of Wands, stand your ground. Nine of Wands, definitely standing your ground, defensive about something. Or this is that fire sign you're dealing with, standing their ground, and they're defensive about something. Um, maybe they're defensive about, I'm hearing, not getting a divorce or not separating or not giving you the justice that you need. Uh, could be dealing with the Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Uh, you need to lay down the relationship and worry about self with the three of wands. The tower moment will help you do that in regards to maybe a fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. You move forward effortlessly and in victory. Could be dealing with the cancer, taming the beast, getting in control of things again. The chariot only carries one, so you're going to worry about self now. I uh, could be dealing with the cancer, like I said, or just moving forward. And getting some wish fulfillment via letting something go and letting something die. Yeah, letting it go and letting it die, you're going to get victory. Could be having going back to a situation or revisiting the situation. Universe bringing something back around for you so that you can be like the fool and uh, chart a new path, a new development, and a new direction. Seven of Swords, maybe an air sign is not being upright honest with you. Or maybe you're needing to devise a new plan of action. Six of Swords, Seven of Swords. Yeah, they're, de they're or you are devi devising a plan of action to move away from. Move away from turbulence, drama, frustration. Um, because there might be messages of love elsewhere. Prince of Cups. Wow, someone wanting to invest elsewhere if you let something die. All right, Virgo. I hope that th this resonated with you. If it did, please like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. Uh, choose to fund the page. Any donation by clicking the, the GoFundMe link is appreciated. Any donation is appreciated. Um, all of my information is below if you want to request the reading. Pricing, uh, the time frame is below also. Okay, so Virgo, remember, when in doubt, pray. I'm praying for you guys. Pray for me as well. Take care. See you in your mid-April readings.